Because what we do is, we start it off with food to get the focus, to get the obedience, and then what we do is we transition over to his favorite toy. Now James, is, James competes with Pepper. He competes in a sport called Service Dogs of America, which covers obedience and protection work. All of the dogs that you're gonna see today, we've walked them through the crowd, we've walked them through the people, we've walked them through the other dogs, and what you're gonna see is that because of proper socialization and training, you can have a dog that performs, a dog that does protection training, and still is very social. Because it's the first thing that we believe in is that our dogs have to be social in order to be able to withstand this kind of environment. If this dog isn't socialized, this dog doesn't have different environments, getting up on a stage is very difficult. It's just like some people that can't get on a stage and talk in front of people being a stage fright, those kind of things. As you can tell, the dog's extremely focused on his trainer. Now, even if James puts the ball away, he is still trained to look at him. So it's not just that he's just looking for the, for the ball, for his favorite toy or reward system. It's one thing that we teach our dogs is that we always have what they want. So what has to happen is you have to understand what your dog wants. Does he want treats? Does he want a toy? Does he want to be petted? You have to find out what makes him want to work. And as you guys saw earlier before we started, we had all three of the German Shepherds up here in a down stay. None of them really were messing with each other, wanting to be by each other, they just wanted to pay attention to their handlers. Now how does that translate into everyday world? Well, how many people do you see around here that are walking their dog and their dog is pulling them, trying to get to everything else? That's the biggest problem with pulling. The dogs are pulling because they don't they realize you don't have what, what they want. They want to go see other dog. They want to go smell something else. They want to go do something else because they know that you're not rewarding them. You're not teaching them to stay with you. So we teach the dogs to stay focused on our handlers and it gives us the ability to do distance work with the obedience commands. This both distance work also comes in handy when we do protection training. When we do the protection training, the dogs have to be able to under control at all times. So we do separate, we do a lot of obedience before we do obedience and protection work together, so they learn them both, but we make sure that we have the control of the dogs. Now, some of you guys may have heard the command, Platz. Most of us train our dogs in German. So Platz is a down command. You might hear James say the command Fuß. Fuß is to heal. Sit, obviously, is sit. And then he recalls them for the front sit. And then he rewards them. Okay. One of the things that we also teach in our training is that you have a big philosophy out there about reward-based training. People that just do reward training don't believe in discipline or corrections. Things that you have to understand when you're training a dog is no different than training than teaching children. There has to know that there's, there's two sides to the road here. There's one where you get praise, positive reward, and the other one is where you get in trouble and get disciplined. So once in a while you might see his dog get a leash correction. That's teaching him, that's not what I want, this is what I want. But you have to understand something, the corrections are fair to the dog understands what's going on, because you have to teach it to them. And once a dog understands right and wrong, he understands that path, you end up using minimum to no corrections because he understands what you want. It's all about communication with your dog. It's all about talking to your, your dog in the way that he understands. And what we try to do is we want to give him the most education, the most information possible in order to get the obedience that we want. Anybody have any questions so far on what we're talking about? So, how does this translate to family dogs? Well, one of the things that we work on with our family dogs is we also work on...